Hey everyone, Mark Derlin here, and I'd like to talk about the short game, specifically a common fault I see in the short game, and that's an over-acceleration profile. An analogy I use to describe an over-acceleration profile is if I were to leave Naples Grand in my car and I was to pull out onto Golden Gate Parkway, and I step on the gas and get going 30 miles an hour, and I let off the gas pedal, I'm still going 30 miles an hour. And that's the sort of rhythm or cadence that we like to see in a pitch or a chip, even putting. What I see commonly at my golf school, or the fault that I see, is I see people get the car going 30 miles an hour and then stomp on the gas to get it going 60. And an example, or what that would look like, is more 30 miles an hour on the backswing, 60 miles an hour on the forward swing. So an over acceleration, too much acceleration going forward. This leads to contact issues. If you've ever double hit a golf ball, that's the reason why uh, the club is accelerating too fast after striking the golf ball. So a good drill that I use, and I learned it from my good friend James Seekman, who's a short game guru on PGA Tour, is just some right arm only swings. So what I like to have my students do is just grip down on the club a little bit to make it a little more, a little lighter, and just make, put your left hand behind your back and just make some right arm only swings. I have yet to see somebody with their right arm go from 30 to 60 miles an hour. Everybody seems to swing it with the right rhythm or the right cadence when it's in their right arm only. So make a couple practice swings feeling that, then put both hands on the club and just try and match that rhythm or that cadence that you created in the drill. If this is something you struggle with, double, double hitting the ball, poor contact around the greens, give this drill a try. And if you have any questions, you can reach me at mark at derlingolf.com or on Twitter at Derlin Golf. Thanks for watching.